So Taylor, this is really a, um, a game of, of, of two halves. I mean, the offense was much sharper in the second half than the first half. What do you attribute it to? Um, just, you know, during adverse situations, our team come together. And, um, I was really proud of our team and how we handled um, being in those adverse situations, especially, you know, how, how many new guys that we have, especially playing on the road and down here. And, um, you know, so we came out in the second half ready to come at it. DJ, first 200-yard uh, rushing game for ASU since 2001. Can you just talk about your overall performance? Um, I'm just blessed to have the line that I do. Uh, I truly am. I mean, I, I think those guys don't get enough credit. Um, I'll run behind those guys any day, every week, and uh, I'm just truly honored to run behind those guys. Did you feel tonight that you especially were kind of in a rhythm? Actually, no. I mean, I felt at first, I mean, I, I, had, a, I had a loose ball on the ground and stuff, and then that's... Usually I take pride in that, so I mean, it took me a while to get going a little bit, but I mean, uh, my teammates and uh, a lot of TK and a lot of the leaders, they helped me and uh, we knew that we needed to get things going and uh, I really depended on my line tonight and they did a great job. Taylor, the way you guys came out in the second half, I mean, immediately you scored in like four plays and there was a big defensive play. What was going, what happened at halftime? Because it seemed like such a stark. Um, just guys coming together. Uh, it's what happens, you know, coach. Um, talked about Coach Norvell and Coach Graham, you know, we thrive for adverse situations as a team. and That's why our practices on Tuesday and Wednesday are just so adverse. You know, coaches are always trying to get on people for these type of situations, how we're going to react. So on Tuesday, we're, how are you going to react? And that's going to affect on Saturday. And so these coaches, you know, know what they're doing and know how to coach those different situations and um, get us very prepared. Were they pretty fired up? Were they pretty heated at all? Or no, you know, it's just, you know, he's confident. You know, he's confident in us and, you know, that's how you got to get um, you know, Coach Novell is confident with the offense. You know, we just just minor things. You know, the fumble, that um, miscommunication with the running back, um, and uh, you know myself. So, you know, those little things that you know we put on ourselves. Taylor, what's going on with you guys offensively in the second quarter? You not really able to generate much. Um, you know, just you know, like I said, things that you know that we were doing, uh, whether it's a you know a missed ball that I had, um, you know that fumble that we had, we just couldn't, you know. Um, you know, our line did a tremendous job of picking up a blitz, and you know, Jalen uh, just you know missed a, an easy catch that he usually catches, just took his eye off of it. You know, it was those little things. You know, that was a third and three, and um, you know, we got to accomplish those things to get better next week. You had a lot of yards early on, Taylor, rushing the balls. Um, was that something that you guys identified? I know that a lot of that wasn't planned, but was that did you guys just see an opportunity there with up the middle with some of those breakdowns? Um, I was just you know taking what the defense gave me. Um, you know, my read is, you know, for a pull read, and, you know, they did a, a pretty good job of covering down our receivers, and, you know, my job is just to, you know, follow DJ, and, uh, you know, that's what I did, and he did, a, he did a tremendous job of following his fundamentals and picking up the free linebacker to, you know, get me loose. And what about his performance in your eyes tonight? Tremendous player. You know, he, he uh, is one of the most hardest working guys, and it, it shows throughout the week, and, uh, you know, he really relies on those those offensive line, and, um, you know, he's, he's watching film with them. He's um, doing everything that he possibly can to, you know, set up those guys that have their best blocks and for him to just, you know, spring it. So he has a lot of trust um, in those offensive line and, and trust his hope. What was, your, what was your guys' takeaway with just how your defense responded in the second half? Amazing. Uh, you know, they, they came up, especially how young they were. They, they showed up and got a big turnover um, after we marched down and scored. And, um, they didn't. I don't, I don't believe they let a score happen in the second half, and um, you know that's what Coach Graham and those guys rallied up in, at halftime and, and got them going. DJ, a lot of explosive plays for you and uh, the rest of the running backs tonight. What were you seeing at the second level from your receivers and offensive linemen? Um, the, the receivers obviously did a great job too. I mean, staying on their blocks, and that's and that's huge for uh, the running backs to get into that second level. Uh, the receivers going through the progression and making sure they're staying on their blocks. And like I said, the old line. I mean. They just they played their butts off as well. I mean, and they they were they they worked so hard during the week. And uh, I mean, we we had a great communication tonight, and we had just great momentum and great vibes out there, and uh, it, it turned out good. What do you think you, the team needs to do better overall? You're starting Pac-12 play next week. That's that's important. Um, we just gotta you know stay on our focus. Cause we're going to Colorado this um, next week, and. Um, the elevation is going to be about the same, and you know, for, it was good for us to you know get used to that. And uh, it, it's a great atmosphere up there. Two years ago, um, I believe we were, it was close to, if not, we were down at halftime. And um, so we just got to you know kind of it's Pac-12 play, and uh, you know we, we all know how important that is, and um, know how to prepare um, throughout the week, and you know get it rolling for next week. It was a little bit windy out there. Was that an on issue throwing the ball? Did um, not too much. Uh, a couple balls. Uh, settled on me. I know on the fourth down, it, it got away on me a little bit. But um, you're going to have those type of situations, and um, you know you, you can't let those affect you, and just you know play through. 
Thanks, guys.